Hi church, this is Reverend Carissa, and today I'm going to teach you how to create an account with Breeze. Breeze is our new church database system, and through this system, you are going to be able to access an online picture directory where you can see basic contact information about other church members, as well as being able to access other information about your own interactions with the church, such as event registration, class registration, um, and even giving statements once we get everything all set up. So once you create an account with Breeze, anytime you wanna access it, you can just go to our church website, um, and in the top right corner, there's a button that says Breeze, and you can click that button and access all the info on Breeze. So let's jump into the computer now to see how you create an account for Breeze to access all this wonderful information. The first step is we're going to go to our church website where we go to the Breeze page. So that's savernaparkumc.org slash Breeze. If you have any questions about Breeze, this is going to be the landing page with all the resources for how Breeze works. When you get to this page, you're going to see this link that says click here to generate a personalized invite. So you click there, and you're going to enter your name and email address. This is whatever email address the church has for you. So go ahead and type that email address in, make sure it's spelled correctly. And then, oop, make sure you fill everything in. So you can always go back and type in your name if you missed a spot. Type in your name, email address, and click continue. Success! It's emailed an invitation to you, so you have a direct link to create an account. So you're going to want to open a separate tab or window with your email in there. Sign in to your email account. And if you're in Gmail, you might have to go to the updates folder. You're looking for an email from Breeze Church Management. When you get there, scroll all the way down. There's a big green button at the bottom. Just click on that button, and this is where you create your username and password. Make sure this is a username and password you'll remember. Um, so I'm going to pick Carissa Server and then a password I know that I'll remember next time I go in. Type that in twice, create user. Ah, you have an account now. So now you can log in. So type that username and password in. Now you're signing into your account that you just created. All right, nicely done. We are into Breeze. So you see where it says My Profile. Today we're just setting up our profile. And the first thing we want to do, this is your profile page. First thing we want to do is set a profile picture so people know what Carissa server looks like. So we click on this spot, and I could just pick a different color of stick figure, but I want to pick a picture of myself. So I'm going to browse to the folder where I have some profile picture options going to scroll down, try to pick my favorite photo. Oh, let's pick this one with me and Maisie on the dock at West River. That's a good photo of just me. So I want to pick a picture of just me for this profile picture so people know who I am, not my whole family. So make sure you crop it. Um, you might need to drag this box around. This is the only what's in that box will be set as your picture and then you pick set as profile and there it is. Now, once you have your profile picture set up, you're going to want to put a family photo in as well so we can see who is in your family. If your family members aren't all here, you can contact us in the office and we'll make sure you get connected to them in Breeze. Add family picture. You can upload an image. So again, we're going to click that and navigate to where I have my family photo saved. Click open. And again, drag this box to select what part of the photo I want to show, in this case, the whole thing. Set as family photo, and then make sure you click save when you're done. So that'll make sure that that photo is our family photo. So then for all three of these people, that's our family photo. Now before you log out of the first time, make sure you upload other information that you want people to know about you. So in the main section, contact, you can click click to edit section. And you can enter more information about yourself, like your title, your gender, marital status, just anything you think the church should know. Um, and then you can click yes or no on sharing info in the online directory. So only your basic contact information, email, phone, and mailing address will be visible in the online directory, not all these other details. The other details are just visible um, internally in the church office. Thank you so much for watching this video about how to create your account on Breeze. 
We hope that this tool will provide you a greater way to access information about folks and to really stay connected to each other as remote ministry and in-person ministry continues with Severna Park United Methodist Church. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to the church office because we would love to help you so that you can feel empowered by this new tool. You can reach out to myself, to Beth, or to Ryan, and any of us would be happy to be a resource for you. See you online or in person soon.